want to talk about transcription study and, and specifically uh, a beautiful solo by Bill Evans. What I want to try and get an insight into is, well, how's, what is his conception? How, how is he hearing? How is he conceiving of the form? How is he phrasing? He's not just hearing this, but he's hearing this that's related to it. So if we look at the notes, it starts on the C minor with a G, a okay, chord tone. Also, the root of its dominant. Next note is a C sharp. What's that? A tritone relationship to the root of the dominant. The next note is a D. It's the fifth of the dominant chord. When I harmonize it with the, with the, the one chord, as Bill does, we get this, this, this built-in tension between the two harmonies coexisting at the same time. I need to understand not just the, the chord I'm looking at, I also need to hear and understand what other harmonies are related to it. Repetition is, is, is a part of music. It's a part of musical composition. You know, a standard tune is not A, B, C, D. It's A, A, B, A. He's an octave higher this time. The first time that is down there, this time it's up here. The consideration is linear. The hearing is linear, not vertical.